This podcast is brought to you in part by PNP Games, your online source for everything video games. Visit their website at pnpgames.com or at one of their three retail locations in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Alrighty, everybody, and welcome to the Nintendo Pulse podcast. This is episode number sixty-six. Uh, someone's really been messing with my stuff in here. It's like everything's loud and crisp. I think my kids were messing around with my mixing board and my and my camera. I'm gonna have to have a talk with them. Isaac gonna go wake thumbs up. It'll be uh, it'll be fun. <laughs> Steven, you're joining me Hi. as always. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thanks. How about you? You know, I'm doing okay. Um, although this week is the week that will never end. For some reason, it felt like I've had about three Fridays um, by now. It's just been, it's been, it's been insane. There's been a lot of busy, busy, busy things happening. So I'm yeah looking forward to the weekend. Yeah, as am I. My week's been dragging on quite a bit at work too. And uh, it is about three hours away from the, the release of the PlayStation Four. At least um, here in Winnipeg, yeah. in your mm-hmm. end end of the of the world, it's probably closer to two hours. Yeah, it's launched in other places already. So, yay, new console! The Wii U isn't the only next generation console on the market right now. Right, and some people would say Wii U is no, not a next generation console because though that's what people say on the internets. Yeah, they troll yeah. and and do the trolling kind of things. But, sure. But yeah, the PS4 is out. Uh, hopefully that means um, good things for Nintendo, like more ports of next-gen games being downscaled <laughs> to <laughs> the lovely HD console that we have in our living rooms. Um, but any more games than not more games would be good. Uh, more is yes, better. Definitely. Not more, not better. Double, double negatives makes it sound really more um, uh, difficult and confusing than it actually is. So. Yes. Yes, yes. So, Stephen, how you been? I've been doing okay. You know, obviously the busy stuff, uh, you know, work and parenting and doing my kids' homework and everything like that. But uh, yeah, it's we we talked just um, before the show started, and I can't believe that my grade two um, has homework, and your grade three has like way more homework than he does, and he already has a ridiculous amount of homework every every single yeah. night. It's it's ridiculous, and he already sure. hates homework. That this is what. The schools are doing to our kids. They're making them hate homework at a young age, when they should yeah. like homework. They should they should like the the pursuit of learning, but uh, not when they have like forty five minutes to do um, right when they get home. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a crazy amount of stuff. It's just too much for us. <clears throat> it is. It is. Can't handle it. Oh well, it'll get better. They'll stop caring yeah. about sc- school soon, and they'll say they don't have homework, and then um, you'll just never have to do it again. But you you can like just live in in sweet bliss of ignorance that uh that that homework needs to be done I, i'm looking Absolutely. forward to these days <laughs> yeah, but i have had some time for gaming which is good cool uh, well when we get right some, into that what have sure. uh, what have you been playing mostly uh animal crossing new leaf i got my second visit from gracie finally nice, nice. uh so that happened like i think two days ago yeah, i think it was monday so maybe more than just three days ago uh, and, uh, so that's two out of the four <laughs> visits. She's showing up about once a month. So in wow. two more months, maybe I'll have a <laughs> store. By I don't the know time how the everyone next... else got it so much quicker. Yeah. I, I was finding like when I was playing, I, I got mm-hmm. three visits at Gracie, probably one a week for three weeks. And then I really stopped wow. kind of playing, um, playing Well, I actually no, that's not entirely correct. I had two visits one week apart and then i didn't play the game for about a month and then the first day back from not playing for a month she was there and i didn't have any Mm -hmm. of the clothes nor the time to order the clothes for my catalog Um, (laughs) you're like crazy ain't nobody got time for that (laughs) yeah exactly so um i uh i I didn't do that and then i still haven't, haven't played since then um so yeah i've kind of let it sort of die on my 3ds i kind of feel bad every once in a while i think about all my my townsfolk wandering around the barren wasteland with weeds everywhere and dead trees, um, yeah. and wonder what they what they think of me. Um, they're probably not very much. At least I'm not as bad a mayor as Rob Ford. Yes. Oh, there yeah, it was. That would be 
that was would more, be even worse. I was wondering how I could squeak a Rob Ford, Ford mention into the show. And there it was. <laughs> it was just like, just kind of laid out for me. That was great. It's good work. That was great. That was great. <laughs> cool. All right. So besides Animal Crossing, what else have you been doing? Uh, well, that's pretty much it. I ordered the uh, DuckTales Remastered for Wii U. It, the, uh, the Wii U or the Awu? Uh, Awu. Uh, for the Wii U? Oh, oh. <laughs> DuckTales Wii U. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. That arrived. Uh, I ordered it yesterday when it came out, and it arrived today, and then I forgot it at work. I left it at work, so I didn't oh, get to no. play it at all tonight. Not that I would have had time with all that homework. That's, um, but, that's very uh, true. But yeah, that was uh, kind of a pain because I'd be probably waving the box here you know and i've got uh zelda on order nice um for 3ds it's looking know. really damn good oh yeah that's getting like that review embargo ended for that and uh you know it's getting uh like tens now people are calling it the best zelda ever in in more than one review and of course it's like kind of hyper hyperbole and it's like yeah, it's yeah. just one person's opinion but for people to come right out of the gate and say it's like the best Zelda ever, it's not the normal, oh yeah, it's more of the same kind of snark that we've been getting for the last couple iterations. So that's um, oh, yeah. it's kind of nice to see. Yeah, it's it's really cool. Seems really uh, exciting. Saw some complaints about the art style, people thinking it's ugly as hell, but hmm. so much fun to play. So that's all right. Hmm. Interesting. Cool. So that's that's about it for you. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much all I've been playing all week. Cool. Well, um, I've been playing some stuff as well. Um, not much on my Wii U, unfortunately. I've been playing some Disney Infinity with the kids. That's about it. Um, nor my 3DS. Um, but I have uh, been playing a lot of Skylander Swap Force with my kids. Uh, playing that on the PS3, though. And um, as much as I said I didn't want to buy it until after the holidays when it was on sale, I... I bought it and i got it and it is fun and it is the best of the three um, by far it is the most gamey a version of that game um it is a lot of fun to play so i've been playing a lot of that with the kids and um i picked up a copy of assassin's creed for black flag on the playstation 3 as well so i've been playing through that um it was interesting um the way i got it did you hear about that crazy sale that we had or the the trade-in offer that we had up here in canada uh, no. <clears throat> well, Future Shop, um, which is our Best Buy, Best Buy, there's Best Buy stores up here in Canada, but they bought Future Shop as a chain. They were doing some crazy sale deal thing. Um, and, and none of us are really sure why they're doing it. Um, basically, last weekend, um, if you brought in any game for the PlayStation 3, the 360, or the Wii U, doesn't matter which game it was, as long as it has the original disc and the original case, and it's not scratched and destroyed, you could trade that one game for a free copy of either Assassin's Creed 4, Call of Duty Ghosts, or Battlefield 4. So new $70 wow. games, straight up trade. Um, and all I had to do was pay the taxes. And it was kind of a weird thing because we're not we're, we're sort of unsure why this is happening. It could be because they want to buy into the used game market, um, which is funny because that market is dying <laughs> with the new consoles and everything moving to digital. <laughs> it's like, OK, that's really weird. Um, the other kind of I guess this is this is my uh, lead theory. Um, other people don't agree with me, but I think why they're doing it is they want to stick uh, GameStop, they want to stick some of the other smaller mom and pop shops with a whole bunch of copies of old console games, basically forcing them to take a huge hit financially um, so that they can still basically maintain their lead in, in the market. So they can move all their old uh, stuff. Maybe they got a huge deal from... Uh, from Activision or whatever, and they can move a whole bunch of stuff for really cheap, get a bunch of used games, bolster their used game sales, and then stick every other company with a whole pile of games that they bought for sixty dollars or probably forty dollars or whatever the whatever the 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 price is for for those copies that they buy, um, and they're gonna have to discount them to like ten dollars, twenty dollars, or whatever um, to move them, and they'll be left with so much in, um, inventory sitting there on the shelves. So uh, it's weird. I, I, I don't know why they would do that other than um, Call of Duty Ghosts didn't sell as well as Activision was hoping, even though they announced it. We shipped a billion dollars into the market. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> How many of those billion dollars worth of units are actually sold? Um, of course, they're yeah. not. They're not forthcoming with those numbers. Um, 
Assassin's Creed 4 is another game that didn't sell as well as its predecessor. It was down about 60% in some areas uh, in Mm -hmm. Europe and other places that have been reporting it. So maybe it's just a way for um, Activision just to move a whole bunch of product to get their NPD numbers up um, for next month because they did this Uh right in November. So now they're going to have a huge November. They're going to get a huge bump in next-gen version sales as well. So... I don't know. It's it's really weird, um, but I, I'm happy. I traded a like five or six year old uh, PlayStation Greatest Hits version of Prince of Persia. <laughs> like a really hor- <laughs> like it was a great game at the time, but it's like six years uh-huh. old. Uh, they can't even probably get a get fifty cents for it, and I traded it for a nice brand new copy of Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag from a PlayStation Three, huh. and I've been playing a lot of that. Uh, Kyle in the chat room, you got you got two of the three right. You went from one store to another store. Um, I was not able to do that because I had kids that were tired of standing. I had, st- I had to wait in line for two hours to get this game. And, wow. And um, I wanted to wait again at the Best Buy next door. My kids were like, Daddy, my legs hurt. I'm like, but a, a game, another game. <laughs> but it's not for us. I know, but it can, can, was game. We'll, we'll wait. They're like, no, we just want to go eat. It's like, okay. <laughs> All right, kids, we'll go have breakfast. <laughs> and we went to <laughs> Perkins for some pancakes and had uh, had fun there anyway, even though I didn't get my mm. copy of Battlefield 4 that I wanted as well. <laughs> yeah, it was it was oh, nuts. As Kyle amazing. in the chat room was saying, it started at 10 a.m. And one of the stores still had lines at 6 p.m. because people were there all days, all, all the whole day getting games. It's it's ridiculous. But um, mm. but yeah, so I'm, I'm enjoying my free copy of Assassin's Creed 4. We're actually not... Um, free. I had to pay eight dollars in taxes or whatever the the, the tax seven dollars and eighty cents. But still, that's a pretty damn good deal for AC four. Yeah, yeah. I like your I like your theory. I think that that's that's certainly possible. Yeah, that they want to stick everybody with a whole bunch of inventory that's going to end up costing them a bunch of money. That totally makes sense, and it seems like something that sure. a big retailer would do, especially with the the new consoles coming out. I mean, they want to be the they want to be the place that people go for this stuff and. This just, I don't know, would, would stick their their competitors with a whole bunch of stuff that they're going to have to heavily discount to move. Um, yeah. But yeah, who yeah. knows? Um, either way, it's a win for me because um, I got a free game. I know people that got sure. all three. They waited all day at different stores to get all th- the, the three copies, trading crappy games for that. And then there's other yeah. people that were totally um, pissed off that it wasn't handled better. It was supposed to be a three-day sale, and so they they anticipated that there'd be copies set aside for all three days and it's like well no all sales are like multiple day sales but they're all well quantities last um actually jeff the guy that does a bonus stage with me didn't get his game and he was being all butthurt about it and uh <laughs> re- really mad and it's just like dude what do you expect like if you go to like a boxing day or black friday sale if you're not there right away if you're not waiting in line to get it you're probably not going to get it and you can't be mad that it wasn't handled better um and then he got mad at me so um we'll uh Yep. We'll, we'll stop talking about that. I'm sure if I bring it up on the bonus stage tomorrow, it should be a, a fun couple hour rant that he's going to have. So that could be interesting. <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, what you got to do is you got to tease him by making stuff up. You got to be like, like, oh, Jeff, you know, I, the place that you the place that you went to, I bet you went back there and got yours because they called me up to say that they got more in stock. I got a few more in stock. So I ran out there. I, I got They more. called you too. I have multiple copies of each one. Um, I'm going to yeah. give them to charity. Um, just yeah. for, for kids, you know, sick kids, they want to go mm-hmm. pwn noobs in Call of Duty as well yep. and say Battle totally Those kids are all over that horrible game. things on their microphones while they're sick. I mean, that's what they oh, want to yeah. do. Yeah, that would be, that would be awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't think he's, um, I don't think he's happy about that yet still. So yeah, it should be, right. it should be fun. It should be fun. I'm a jerk, I guess is what I'm saying. What I'm saying, what I'm saying. All right, cool. So uh, that's that's pretty much what I've been playing. Um, waiting for um, some news about the new consoles. I'm waiting. I wanted to get a PlayStation 4. I didn't end up pre-ordering right away. And then I made a late decision to kind of wait until like February, March, April of next year when some of the games yeah. that I really want come out. I'm going to find one in a store one day soon and I'm just going to buy it because I have absolutely no willpower when it comes to these sorts of things. But <laughs> as it is right now, I am waiting. There's no games. There's no games yet. I, I, well, there's there's the like downloadable titles, the the the, the, the like Rezo Gun, which is like a free shooter. Sure. And it's sure, like free on PlayStation Plus. Yeah. It's like I want this game. I'm not 
really willing to spend four hundred dollars on it, but I mean, I'm going to spend right. four hundred dollars anyway. I might as well get it now. Yeah, I <laughs> my willpower really needs work. Stephen is kind of what I'm trying to say. Okay. Kyle in the chat, chat room saying knack. Yeah, I don't know. Sixty bucks for that game seems like a lot. Yeah, very. The reviews have been very low on it. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I I kind of dig it. I, I'm I'm not going to lie. Uh, I was watching um, a. Um, playthrough the live streaming on the playstation 4 is amazing um basically it sets up the screen with your video um with a camera screen if you have the playstation camera with um chat on the bottom and you can see all the stuff that's happening um so i watched a live stream of that and um yeah it was uh it looks really good i don't know if it's really something i'm willing to spend 70 dollars on or or 60 bucks on it seems a little bit crazy yeah. but but yeah so no uh, new consoles in my um horizon but we'll see maybe by next week i'll be talking about how good the playstation 4 is if uh past uh, experiences are are to be looked upon um that is exactly what's gonna happen but uh i will try my best even for you for you i will Thanks. try to hold off <laughs> i'm awesome. sure there will be games there will be games on the ps4 that will be worth owning and playing yeah. but i just don't think they're there yet as soon as a ratchet and clank comes out i will buy the system so mm -hmm. that is what i will do what i will do all right um that's gonna about do it for that let's get into uh the news um first off we want to talk about uh, the deals i put it in the news but i guess we can talk about it right now um, sure as part of their uh, nintendo direct they announced a uh, weekly character-based sales that they're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. So the first week is um, starting today, and it goes all the way to next Thursday, and it's a Link-themed sale. So on the 3DS, you can get The Legend of Zelda for $3.49, The Legend of Zelda uh, Link's Awakening DX for $3.99, and The Zelda 2: The Adventures of Link for $3.49. So these are about a 30% off sale. So Nintendo was hyping it as like this crazy sale. It's not that crazy, but um, I yeah. guess 30% off of, is better than nothing, I guess. And then on the Wii U, you can get uh, The Legend of Zelda or uh, The Legend, or so, sorry, or Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. Um, either of those are available for $3.49, which is kind of neat. Um, and then they announced the four, the, the other three characters for the four character theme that they're doing. Um, so next week, it's going to be Mega Man. Uh, the week after is going to be Mario. And then the week after, it's going to be Donkey Kong. So... There's going to be a whole bunch of virtual console stuff and other things on sale in um, in 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 the eShop for the next month. So it's kind of a neat neat thing, and it's really cool to see Nintendo do things like this. Um, but it just is. just the Zelda ones are available right now. Uh, I don't know. Did, is this does this scream Nintendo to you, Stephen, or is this like what is Nintendo doing? Um, they've done sales. Well, the yes and no. They, they've been doing some. They've been doing sales on their eShop for a while now which is nice you know mm -hmm. it's nice to see some eShop sales but uh i i kind of think that the pricing isn't really aggressive enough because the starting point particularly on the virtual console games is already higher than it should be yeah um especially considering they considering their their the system that they have in place this you know the network id thing and all that they, they don't have like a cross-platform purchase thing so you know i if i had a digital copy of Legend of Zelda on Wii, I also had to buy it on Wii U, and then I had to buy it on 3DS, and, and you know we've bought them on as GBA uh, on the GBA as NES Classic series. I mean they they keep selling the same game over and over and over again, and they they're charging very high prices for it every time. So yeah. how many times do you have you to know, rebuy these games? Like I've probably bought the sure. original Legend of Zelda, I don't know six times. Mm -hmm. um maybe more um yeah i'm not about to buy it again i've 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 bought it enough personally i have it on a on that gamecube disc the collection the collector's right. edition zelda thing right and i haven't bought it again since then so i've been pretty good about that but there's other games that you know that i have done that with super mario brothers and uh um castlevania games of course you know, sure. every time they show up i'm buying them again and it's like <laughs> if the prices were lower then I'd f I, I wouldn't mind so much, you know. If we were paying right. one two dollars yeah. for them, totally, I'd like, be like, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's just sure. a buck. It's two bucks, you know. Yeah, like we talked uh, last week. Like if if it was the iTunes market type thing, where you mm -hmm. basically go to a, go to this browser, 
you look at all the stuff they have available, you buy it, it's on your account, you can download it and use it on multiple devices. I mean, yep. if that was the case, I would buy all sorts of these things. Um, oh, yeah. I would buy games like I bought all the 30 cent titles because it was cheap and I would I would buy pretty much anything for 30 cents. Um, a lot yeah. of the games I would buy for a dollar just to, just to have them again. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd pay more for them if I could use them on any platform. Sure. And I'd buy them more times if they cost less. So, so, so they've, they've either way. one of those directions <laughs> would be an improvement, you know. Either way they tilt, so, it would be yeah. would be a bonus in in your books, right? For sure, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, I I feel the same way. They're a little bit too expensive to begin with, so the sale isn't that great. I mean, they should have gotten them down to two dollars each. Like, yeah, like sell them for a buck ninety nine and see how many you sell, and then yeah. then think, gee, we sold like. 400,000 copies across this sale maybe we should drop everything to two bucks because that was almost a million dollars that we what we made in a week that we wouldn't have made otherwise um yeah. but yeah i i don't see nintendo as one of the uh one of the companies that would mess around like that too much they uh they don't seem to care um when it comes yeah. to that they want to protect their ip which i get i totally get but uh, sure doesn't mean i sure. have to agree with it yeah, and, and you know, as I said, they could they could charge even more for it, provided they let me have it on every platform. Sure. Yeah. No, I I agree. It's um, unfortunately um, not something that they're going to be doing in the near future, which which is yeah. really really a shame. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get into the rest of the show. Um, oops, I suddenly oh, messed up our notes. That was really weird. Um, Okay, let's get into the news. So um, Nintendo held another Nintendo Direct yesterday. Um, I didn't get to watch it at all. Um, I watched it um, in the evening. And um, it they seem to be getting more and more comical. Um, they're always yeah. trying to be funny. Um, but this one was like Reggie talking to, to Jack in an elevator while he's flirting with some woman. And then she runs out and then he basically just screams at the camera. And it's just like, it's not like, to be honest, it's not funny, but it's neat to see Nintendo kind of try uh, instead of just the Iwata standing in front of a white background and bowing. Um, did I say Jack? I meant Bill. Sorry. Yeah. Bill, Bill Bill Trinan. Trinan. And, Why did and I say I Jack? The, Jack I doesn't someone mean, in Jack. someone on Twitter was saying that, uh, that the woman there, was uh, Audrey Drake from IGN. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Like it was a tweet. Somebody was tweeting to um, to her. Uh, Game on Aminka, I think is her Twitter account saying, hey, you know, it's funny to see you in the elevator and on that thing. So I, I didn't cool. recognize it as her having seen her in some other videos. But. Yeah, it is kind of neat. Yeah, it shows that they're being a little bit more casual with these things. Not the crazy, um, like we're standing in suits, um, staring at you and going direct to you. Um, mm -hmm. They're pointing at the camera and bowing and all all the crazy, like really, really, really um, Japanese kind of of, of way of doing things. Um, they're they're taking it and making it their own, which is which is really kind of funny. Again, the jokes were horrible, um, but at least they were trying <laughs> yes. something besides Iwata <laughs> standing in front of a white screen and bowing. So that was that was really nice yeah. to see. Um, but this one focused on um, basically things that are coming out soon on the 3DS and the Wii U. And there was some really interesting stuff. No huge, crazy surprises. Um, I don't know. What did you think overall of the event? Are, 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 do you still like these or do you think it's kind of annoying and they should just put out press releases? I, li I like this. I think it's fun. They're, they're fun to, to watch. They always come out while I'm at work. Um, this was like just about the first time I was able to watch it. Uh, right after it played by okay. going to YouTube on my phone. I, I happen to be working in a space in my building that I don't work in very often, and there's a really good signal there. So right. I have a really good data signal there. So, And the machine runs pretty much on its own. So I'm able to start the machine and just hold my phone and watch <laughs> the video. So Nice. Uh, I had intended to watch it while it was happening, and then I was like, okay, it's in 10 minutes. Okay, it's in five minutes. And then I forgot about it for 45 <laughs> minutes somehow. <laughs> and yeah. then right while it was ending, I was like, oh, well, now I can go watch it on YouTube without having to worry about the lag. <laughs> and and you don't want to watch it while it's happening because oh, God, no. without any, like it, every single time, you'll watch it and it will 
like desync halfway through. Um, you'll lose huge sec sections of the video as it tries to catch up. Um, I'm I'm not ever going to watch one live again, I don't think, because the, the last yeah. three have just been horrible. Um, so I'll, I'll wait till they're available for download um, at the end of the event. Yeah, they pop or, them right on their YouTube channel yeah. immediately as soon as it's over. So that's the best place to watch them. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, let's get into some of the stuff they covered. Um, so they 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 talked a lot about the 3ds. Obviously, that is um, their huge seller. Um, we'll get into that a little bit more later in the show. Um, but they showed off some um, some new newish games, and they gave us some release dates out for games that we didn't already know what the release dates were. Um, we get uh, Bravely Default Flying Fairy on February seventh. Uh, Professor Layton and the Azran Legacy, which is the final uh, game of the second uh, Professor Layton trilogy on the 28th of February. And uh, they announced that uh, the name actually for the new Mario Party uh, 3DS title, which is Mario Party Island Tour. Um, I don't know if they had ever announced that name before. At least I didn't uh, recognize it. So that was kind of interesting. And yeah. that one's coming out on the 17th of January. Um, the interesting thing with the new Mario Party game is you can play four player Mario Party, pretty much the whole game with only one cartridge, um, yep. which is great. They should, there should be more of it. Um, that should be done more often. Um, well, they did it with Mario Party DS that way too. Yeah, but it wasn't the whole that game. That was really good. Was it the whole game, or was it just oh, yeah. some of the mini games? Uh, as far as I know, it was the whole game because oh, okay. I played uh, download play with a with a couple of friends of mine with just one copy. Of oh, okay. Game. Well, then it's not that big of a deal. I, I thought this was the first time that all the mini games were playable um, through just the cartridge sharing, which mm -hmm. totally makes sense, especially for a game like Mario Party. I mean, that, oh, that's God, a no brainer. Yeah. But it would be nice to see some more of this stuff for like Mario and other games where there's some sort of like multiplayer mode. Just have yeah. more stuff available um, with the one cartridge sharing thing to then mm -hmm. convince more people to buy cartridge copies to get more. Um, than what is on there but um, that was the coolest one of the cool things about mario kart 7 too yeah you can do kart sharing like yeah that. exactly yeah it's, it's really cool i i was i was really stoked to see uh the new mario party it looked really good um i i'm not gonna buy it but it looked good um which i didn't think it looked good previously when i saw some of the screenshots and things for it mm -hmm. well, foreman i think in the chat room <clears> i think he's <throat> saying that they had announced I think he said he the yeah they had is in reference to them already having announced the Mario Party Island Tour okay. name. I didn't know what the uh, name was. So. I thought they had too, but I, I couldn't be sure. They announced the I know for sure they announced the name of the new Kirby game, um, that hadn't been announced before. But I can't okay. remember the name of that. <laughs> it's not in the notes that I have right in front of me, <laughs> so that doesn't help us at all. Um, I'm sure the the chat room will tell us uh, exactly what it is. Um, so yeah, did you see that uh, Bravely Default has a, a collector's edition coming? Yeah, it, sure. I I don't um, I, I don't know too much about the series um, to be honest. Um, like I don't I don't know how popular it is. More is what I'm saying. But um, well, it's pretty new yet. It's it's really only the second game in the series, and it's only really sort of a spiritual sequel. Sure. So it's um, uh, it's very different from the previous game anyway. So it's it looks really really great. It's kind of neat because the collector's edition comes with like a statue and a bunch of AR cards and some other things, which is, which is interesting. I mean, there's there's been a few collector's editions on the 3DS. Um, you'd think that there would be more, but I mean, you're already buying a, a fairly expensive title when you think of uh, buying a portable game, um, adding a, like ten or twenty dollars extra for a collector's edition. Um, I, I guess is asking a lot, um, but this one, yeah, it looks uh, looks pretty interesting. Um, um, looking at some of the notes, and it looks like the U.S. version will include all of the extra content that was included with the Japanese re-release as well. So this is the yep. the full thing um, for uh, Bravely Default Flying Fairy. So um, that, that'll be one that you're picking up, Steven? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I checked uh, Amazon a few times today. And the game has been on Amazon for a while because the people are like reselling the Japanese version. Sure. Um, so when you go for the listing for Bravely Default Flying Fairy on Amazon, has that listing there, it has the Japanese version, and there's like dozens and dozens and dozens of used copies of it on there, but they're all the Japanese <laughs> ones. Right. So I, there's no way for me to pre-order the game, because if I try to, it will sell me one of those used copies. Nice. Um, so at some point, Amazon is going to have to figure something out, whether it's deleting all of those and creating a new listing, or changing the name of that listing to Japanese version or something like that. But right. at some point, they're going to list... Um, they're going to list the uh, collector's edition on Amazon, and I am going to pre-order it. Nice, nice. I'm 
very excited about that game. I've been watching it for a couple of years now. But no Dragon Quest Seven in this direct. Still, <laughs> no sign of Dragon Quest Seven. <laughs> yeah, I want I want that game. Nice. <laughs> um, the The name of the Kirby game is Kirby Triple Deluxe. Okay. <laughs> It, they just they never announced what it was before and that's the name okay it sounds sure. kind of weird but sure. it's kirby tri- triple deluxe there you go that was in the direct i don't even remember seeing that yeah, yeah wasn't it in the i'm pretty sure it was in the direct oh, i believe you i just don't remember seeing it um or it was in all of it was in all the it was in the press release anyway that they sent out i'm, I'm fairly sure it's certain it was in there but um i could be wrong i could have fallen asleep during the direct and just uh, not really notice that is <laughs> definitely possible as well all right um they also talked a lot about um the new uh super mario 3d world game um they were teasing or there's going to be a new fifth playable character um so you already have mario luigi princess peach and toad in the game so immediately i thought well it's going to be daisy that totally makes sense or it's going to be some other like bit character um and i was kind of right because the fifth playable character is rosalina who is even more of a bit character than Daisy is because she's the um, the protector of the stars from Super Mario Galaxy. So she's been in two games and she's in, in this one where Daisy was in a few more games um, and is not in this one. So maybe she's hidden deep in the games as well as, as another another playable character. But um, yeah, it was it was it was good i'm uh i'm I'm excited for it every everything i see about the this game makes me more and more excited um every little screenshot every video every sound effect every um meme that nintendo posts to (laughs) to their twitter they're horrible but it makes me super excited to want to play this game more um this game is going to be awesome i cannot cannot wait it wait. definitely i have i have my pre-order and i it, it can't arrive soon enough no a couple of accidentally ship it to me early like a target <laughs> yeah that would be that would be great um i i really want to play it i'm i'm trying to make the decision on where i should pick it up like digital or disc I, i'm still the wii u i'm still not decided on how i want to play my games i i kind of want them digital so that they're always on the home screen and i can just quickly jump into it when i'm playing with my kids but then also kind of want to have the box um so i mean i'm going to talk about this forever because it's it's yeah. an annoying little quirk that i have but um are you you're gonna be buying the the disc based version um because you're yeah. you'd like to collect i them? always buy the disc versions it's it's not even just about collecting them it's about uh it's about knowing that i'll always have the game even yeah. if the service shuts down. Sure. And it's about not using up disk space because even with a 32 gigabyte Wii U, that's only a few games. Yeah. And yeah. with an external hard drive, that's just another mess to worry about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can get them on disks for the same price, often less, you know. True, true. Yeah, so. I, I, I'm, I kind of also want to get it so that I can start playing it that night at 11 p.m. Um, when mm-hmm. everybody's sleeping and just spend a couple hours playing this game on release day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Super, super, uh, super Mario 3d world looks amazing. Um, <laughs> crazy good, crazy, crazy good. Um, there was some interesting, uh, talk leading up to this event where, um, <laughs> they, Nintendo basically said that they're focusing on, on this type of franchise or this type of game. Um, but that doesn't mean that we're ignoring galaxy. Uh, it's like, well, obviously that doesn't mean you're ignoring galaxy, but, um, but thanks. Thanks. Uh, Nintendo looks like my, um, bandwidth just died again. So if we get disconnected, yeah, everything just kind of froze for a minute. Yeah. I'm seeing that here as well. I hope my internet didn't die again, which I don't think it did because I'm still talking to you. Or so I so I think <laughs> I'm still talking to you, but yeah, um, hof- you. hopefully we'll, uh, we'll we'll let that keep going. I'm going to stop broadcast and then uh, restart it, and hopefully the video just keeps on going. So everybody that's listening in on podcast form, you will not have known that anything happened. So sorry about that. So um, okay, moving on. What else? Uh, uh, oh yeah, the other thing they they uh, showed off a video which is ten new features of super mario 3d land um and they showed off a really cool thing uh really cool stuff i'm not gonna spoil much of it f- to you you guys can uh, go watch that video if you haven't watched the nintendo direct but they show off some really um kind of interesting things stuff like 
green stars and 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 different ways of traversing levels and mm -hmm. um and of course mario in with cat ears i mean you can't get enough of that yeah <laughs> it, it's uh, everything about the game just looks great and i was watching those uh yeah i don't get complaints about mario spoilers either um it's not exactly a story based game totally the uh while i was watching that uh that direct and they were talking about mario 3d world and they were showing the video and they were they went through their 10 list of 10 new things mm -hmm. i was my jaw was on the floor because not only does the game look great and just looks like it's so much fun <clears throat> yeah they put so much into this game totally you know like what i mean the, like the, they, um, this isn't the mario kart levels yeah like there's levels that are like mario kart and yeah. they even sound like Mario Kart. They have the music from Mario Kart as you're kind of butt sliding through all these levels. It's like, <laughs> yeah. what? This is happening? Really? Um, yeah. yeah, it looks it looks really, really cool. Yeah, like even the Luigi Brothers, the little, yeah. you know, arcade style, <laughs> low resolution sprites, Luigi Brothers uh, game is just yeah so if you if you already own <laughs> new, new super luigi u when you pop this this game into your console it will see that and will unlock an original version like the original arcade mario brothers games the one where you're basically jumping on platforms and and hitting enemies from underneath and and things yeah. like that um and it it will unlock luigi brothers which is basically the the luigi sprite from the original super mario brothers and the luigi sprite from the arcade version kind of coexisting <laughs> yeah. it's just like what what is this what is how i don't get it nintendo what are you doing here you're you're really really strange um but uh but yeah it's just like these weird things that they're doing like this yeah. could have easily been a $60 cash in that has little to no new stuff thrown in just uh -huh. a here buy this because you guys are are sheep and you will buy every game we put out there ha 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 type thing but they're actually they're they're doing different things they're yeah. they're innovating they're changing the formula they're making the game new and interesting again where the last few Mario releases have kind of been the, kind of the same formula over and over and over again but um yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'm super excited. And they make crazy amounts of money on the new Super Mario Brothers game. Yeah. Like crazy, crazy amounts of money. And if, you know, for them to really put in the effort and energy into this is really, it's yep. a great thing. It's a beautiful thing to see them still doing. Totally. Um, yeah. This you know, shows is, that they really are trying. This will be a day one purchase, guaranteed. Um, I cannot wait to pick yeah. this one up. All right, moving on. Um, they talked about. Um, an update that will be coming to both your Wii U and your 3DS. If you have both consoles, um, there's going to be a the much promised um, or promised for a long time Nintendo Network ID and Miiverse update to your um, to your. Oh, Stephen can't hear me. Oh, weird. OK, well, we'll uh, we'll carry on without Stephen and uh, we'll see if we can remake the can or reconnect to him. We're having some Internet connection problems here. So sorry, everybody that's uh, watching live or listening to podcast form. Um, so uh, there's going to be uh, a patch that's going to be coming out in December for your 3DS, which will give you Nintendo Network ID support um, and Miiverse support. So you'll be able to um, to browse Miiverse and do all sorts of fun things, uh, which is great. Um, and there will be a patch on um, on your Wii U as well. And the the purpose of this patch is to basically put both of your um, your balances uh, into one. So you won't have a separate or if you choose to do this, it's not a forced upgrade yet. Um, you're not going to have a separate balance on your 3DS nor a separate balance on your Wii U. You're just going to have one balance, um, which will basically... Um, allow you to buy things for each console out of one uh, big pot of money, which is huge. I don't know, Steven, are you a big fan of that? I'm, I'm assuming you are. Oh, we lost him again. looks like he's having some network issues. So I do apologize to everybody. Are you there, Steven? <laughs> I don't think so. I, I don't think we have Steven. We'll wait to see if he can reboot or something. Um, so what, what I've done in the past, um, is um, I'll buy a, a Nintendo Network ID points card or an eShop points card, I guess it's called, and I will drop it on my Wii U. And then almost immediately, I'll, there'll be this great $7 game that comes out, and it's like, oh, 
crap okay uh, but of course the game comes out for the 3ds it's like oh crap okay so now i have to go buy another 20 dollars card and drop it on my 3ds and then it's like okay so now i have like 14 dollars of balance on my wii u and i bought the seven dollar game on my 3ds and now i have 14 dollars on both and then this great game comes out on the wii u for 20 dollars. it's like ah oh, damn it i just bought 20 dollars. anyway um huge problem uh, a lot of people are having this issue. This will no longer uh, be something that you have to worry about. Um, as of December, they will amalgamate both of these balances and you'll have one balance to rule them all. Steven, you're back. What do you think of, yeah. of that whole process? I think it's great. I think it's uh, definitely a step in the right direction. Uh, it, you, now, you said that uh, in, in the description here, you're saying it's going to let people purchase content cross-platform. Um, yeah. Which which means that you can buy a 3DS title when you're on your Wii U, and you can buy a Wii U title when you're on your 3DS. Obviously, you can't play uh, that title on each of those, but it's going to be one one standard storefront, uh, similar to what say the PlayStation does, where you can browse Vita games and and PlayStation 3 games at the same time. Got it. So, um, yeah, I I I'm digging it. I I I really want that to happen, just so as I said before, um, so I don't have to keep um buying points cards when i already have that balance sitting on this little handheld but i want to do it on my wii but i can't do it uh, it's going to yeah. be a huge thing um meverse is going to be fun as well um like we said last uh, episode it'll um the the swap note functionality um will, will kind of come back where you can make messages and send them to your friends and drop interesting little things um so really looking forward to that as well yep yeah, me too. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, we're having some network issues, so sorry everybody that's following all along live. It looks like we're for some reason we're having a bad connection tonight, Stephen. We'll have to see if we can work on that. Yeah, um, I'm sure, I'm sure what's going on there. yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, they talked about Pikmin. Um, they said Pikmin's been a huge success for them. They announced some more DLC. So next month, um, in December, there's going to be a DLC for four dollars, which will add eight levels, um, but two different types of levels. And there'll be a patch that required to purchase this. And as part of the patch, everybody that owns Pikmin will get samples of those two different types of levels, which is kind of a neat thing. Um, did I tell you about what, what, what my son said about Pikmin, um, a, a little while ago? Did I, did, did you, did I tell you that? Looks like we're having sound issues again. Okay. Um, so anyway, my, um, <laughs> my son, uh, said the other day, sorry, um, we're trying to get this sorted out, um, that he, he was just sitting, sitting beside me on the couch and he's like, dad, you know what? I, I, I really, I really miss, I really miss Pikmin. I, I kind of really miss them. I wonder how they're doing. So he was all um, super stoked about playing um, Pikmin again. So I might have to pick up a copy and and play it because they seem to really, 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 really want to play that game. All right. As we try to connect to Steven again and again, um, some other stuff. Uh, YouTube is coming to the 3DS. So um, sure. Yay. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't get the feature. Oh no, we keep dropping. I, I don't think we're, this is going to continue with Steven. Do, oh, um, sorry everybody. Um, so I don't, I don't get why people watch YouTube on really small screens. Um, but there are a lot of kids that watch Nintendo video and other things. So, um, I, I guess that is a potential huge market. Um, but, um, yeah, YouTube is coming to your 3DS. It's going to behave similar to the Wii U version of, of that, being uh, where there's a video window and kind of a control window um, that'll be the top and bottom of the 3DS, obviously. And um, it'll allow you to search for another video while you're playing one. Um, oh, I should have muted that. Um, but the I guess the best part about this is that um, you guys will be able to watch the video versions of this podcast on your 3DS if you choose to do so. Um, which is which is kind of interesting, um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Um, it was a it was a a thirty ish minute um, Nintendo Direct. Um, no huge Megaton bomb uh, announcements. I was kind of hoping that Nintendo would kind of drop something um, serious and exciting uh, because of the PlayStation Four coming out. Um, but that doesn't uh, seem to be something that they had in the plans. So anyway, uh, great Nintendo Direct. Um, really digging these things and hopefully they continue to put them out. 
um, the interesting ones anyway. All right, let's move on into the news, the rest of the news. Um, Nintendo announced um, this week or today, actually, that they have doubled the amount of sales of the 3DS from last month to this month. So Nintendo announced a movement of 452,000 3DSs sold in October um, because of the 2DS and also because of Pokemon X and Y, um, which is ridiculous. Um, They also announced that combined between Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, they sold 1.7 million units combined. So this is the biggest month this year for for Nintendo 3DS software all year. Um, This has got to be one of the best months for Nintendo all year. That is crazy. Almost 500,000 units and 1.7 million uh, copies of Pokemon, plus all the other stuff because they have a whole bunch of other software that sold really well this year. And they got a bunch of stuff next month and later this month. Um, Nintendo's not hurting. So all those people um, saying that Nintendo's going to go down in a big fiery ball of flames. Um, I, I think they're they're doing OK right now. We'll, we'll see what happens uh, next year as the Wii U stuff kind of uh, kind of rolls on. Um, other uh, news out of the NPDs was all of the um, all of the software numbers um, and basically I, I guess the the top seller um, of course was Grand Theft Auto 5 still um, they sold 1.1 million which is great and crazy at the same time um, Pokemon X and Pokemon Y as I said um, 1.7 million which is great uh, Battlefield 4 is still up there um, but some more kind of Wii Focus stuff number 5 was Batman Arkham Origins uh, which is available on the Wii U I, I don't think the Wii U version um, sold as well as some of the other ones, So, um, but but it's on there as well. Assassin's Creed Black Flag is on the Wii U, and um, Skylander Swap Force is number eight um, on the Wii U. Lego Marvel Super Heroes is also there at number nine. So yeah, there's a lot of Nintendo stuff uh, being sold, which is, which is crazy. Do we have you back, Steven? Yeah, rebooted my computer and hopefully... Hopefully that'll that will fix it. Resolve the issue. Cool. Um, so we just got through the second news item. So let's get into the last couple, which is Pokemon themed. Um, they put up a, they being, um, a, a, I guess, a, a website <laughs> called Poka Effectiveness um, dot com, uh, which is which is awesome, and it basically allows you to go onto this website, put in a Pokemon name. So I'll put in Chespin because Chespin for the win is in the chat room right now. And it will immediately tell you what kind of Pokemon it is, what it's weak to, what it's resistant to, and what it has normal to. Um, so it's just a really great cheat sheet. Nice. So if you if you find a new Pokemon and you're like, oh, gee, I wonder what my IV... Oh, it even kind of... I could just start typing a name. That's really cool. So I can just start typing a name and find a Pokemon. So Jinx is an ice and psychic Pokemon and it's weak to rock, bug, ghost, steel. Anyway, um, pokaeffectiveness.com is there and it's pretty cool. Um, if, if you're just wanting to figure out what your Pokemons do, although the people that want to know this info probably already know this info by memory the people that are really focused on finding the the proper matchups they probably know all the matchups without really um really even thinking about it but uh yeah anyway this exists and i wanted to let you guys know because i know we have a whole bunch of pokemon fans that listen to this podcast and if we say something bad about pokemon steven we get a lot of hate mail so um i'm a fan of of x so i play a lot of pokemon x so i'm not a hater anymore um but uh I, i thought i'd put this out for everybody uh, if they want a quick way to look up your type matches uh, for your pokemons your pokemans uh, you can do that at poka effectiveness.com just a really awkward title it's poke effectiveness.com yeah whatever it's a link in the chat room or link in the show notes rather uh you guys will be able to bookmark it and never have to think on how to type it in again (laughs) all right um next up um the Pokemon X and Y soundtrack was released today uh, for more Pokemon stuff on iTunes. So for $10, you can get the soundtrack to Pokemon X and Y. It is 212 tracks 
um, Stephen, it, it, with great, uh, really, really great tracks like uh, Opening Movie, um, Route 2, that's that's a personal personal favorite of mine, um, Trainers, Eyes Meet, Twins um, is a really great track as well. The whole 20 second track, let's, let's play it. There you go. The trainers. Can you just tell by that music that their eyes met the twins? <laughs> uh, it's, it's hilarious, but 200 tracks, most of them being like 20, 10 seconds, 20 seconds long. Um, really, really, really tiny. Uh, here's one that's five seconds. Pokedex evaluation. Keep at it. That is one of the tracks. That is track number 66. It is five seconds long. As Foreman in the chat room says, it's a bunch of ringtones for Poke Nerds. And yeah, that totally seems uh, like something that it is. Um, I think the longest track is like three minutes, uh, which is one of the battles, uh, the battle themes. Um, but anyway, uh, this is available. So if you haven't gotten enough Pokemon into your ears, eyes, or other parts um you can now listen to it you're you can fill your ears with all the pokemons um and it's uh yeah 200 200 plus tracks and it's gonna be awesome <laughs> to people that like that stuff um so we're, we lost steven again so my apologies for that um so the last story um it's kind of a spoiler i guess but not really um it's about um super mario 3d world and the fact that IGN accidentally, um, as Stephen put in quotes, leaked their review. So they published their review early um, before the embargo lifts. So it's it's out there, or it was out there. It's been since pulled. Can you hear me again, Stephen? <laughs> I guess that's a no, because as soon as I switched to his camera, he disappeared. Um, so the, the embargo is is still there. They accidentally published it to their website, including their video review. And um, it, uh, it, it it scored well. If you don't want to hear what the score was, just fast forward 30 seconds. But they gave it a 9.6, making this one of the be better Mario titles to come out in, in the, I don't know, as far back as I can remember uh, the last few years. So um, th this game was reviewed really well <clears throat> on um, on IGN. I guess it's going to uh, it's going to review well other places as well. Um, but that just gives us kind of a, a, a taste for um, w when this game actually um, gets gets reviewed in the sites. Hey, Foreman, do you know when the embargo lists on this game, by the way? Any anything like that? It's um, yeah, it looks really really good and just seeing this review even though i didn't see it i didn't read it i didn't happen to go to their website during the five minutes it was up um this makes me really really excited um the embargo lists on the 19th so uh, thanks foreman um so yeah about half half a week away uh, or five days away i guess but um yeah it's it's gonna be good i can't wait and we're uh we're, we're both myself and steven if you were here to say we would both say that we're really excited about um, this game. But uh, it looks like we're not going to get connected again. We're trying, but it's not working. He's in the chat room. He's screaming, I'm here. Uh, can you, you, he can hear me. Uh, I think we're connected. Oh, okay. Don't turn your video on. Leave your video off. Okay. Just, I think we might be having bandwidth issues, even though you got new, fast, crazy, fast internet. I internets. understand. <laughs> your, your audio is even breaking up a little bit. So there must be some, some tech issues on your side. We'll have to investigate it a little bit further. Um, so yeah, the uh, the video um, was up. I don't know, nine point six. Stephen, what do what do you think? Are you excited? I, I think. Did, oh, God, I know you. I I know you didn't want the game. Um, that you you really hate Mario titles. Um, does this make you really want it? Oh, he broke up again. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. All right. Well, we will. We'll just switch off his camera and I think we'll put an end to the show. My jokes don't work when he can't listen to them and 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 answer uh, when I ask the question. Anyway, that's going to about do it for this episode. Um, we'll have to call this one technical difficulties because it's been filled with them. Um, definitely my apologies to everybody um, that has been following in live or on the uh, chat room. 
Um, we want to hear from you guys. Head on over to VGPodcast.com. Let us know what you think of the show. Um, maybe not just this episode, but all the episodes. What, what do you think of the show? And to make it even better, we'll put some some music on in the background. Uh, we want to hear from you. Uh, VGPodcast.com. Click chat at the top of the page. Or, sorry, um, contact us at the top of the page. Uh, I'm being distracted by my Skype window constantly opening, closing, and flashing um, in my peripheral vision. Um, email us directly, vgpodcasts at gmail.com, or you can call our voicemail line, which is area code 505 VG Podcasts. It is a good couple weeks to be a, um, a, a gamer. Um, doesn't matter what console you you call home there's some great games coming out there so uh, yeah get out there buy some games play some games and we'll talk to you in about a week's time take it easy everybody <laughs>